Our Family Roots. My name is Allison Blanchard and I'm from Amarillo, Texas. My parents' names are John Ben and Rhonda Blanchard. My father is an attorney and my mother is a third grade teacher. I have two brothers. I have a twin brother who also attends Texas A&M and an older brother who is also a lawyer in Amarillo. My grandfather, my father's father, was also an attorney and a Texas senator in Austin. On my father's side, I trace many family members back to having occupations dealing with the law and leading in their communities. For example, I found out that I'm related to the 36th President, Lyndon B. Johnson. My mother's side of the family is mostly consumed with farmers in Tennessee and then later West Texas before they scattered out and started their own. My family can be traced back to England, France, and Wells. Many of my family members were members of the Sons of the American Revolution and colonists in different parts of Virginia before they scattered out across the country. Before coming to America, the D'Aubin family can be found on the rolls of the Battle of Abbey among the list of knights who fell at the Battle of Hastings. Other D'Aubins who survived the conquest are mentioned as champions of the Magna Carta. Another interesting story I found is about my grandfather, five generations back, Thomas Noakes. He and his family were living in Kentucky in an orchard that was invaded by Comanche Indians. Nancy McGuire, Thomas Noakes' wife, and George Noakes Jr. were the only adults who survived. This legend has been passed down and the story has continued throughout my family history. My family has da passed down many traditions and cultures. Most of us have grown up in small towns and the importance of family, hard work, and dedication has stayed prevalent. I plan on passing down these morals and beliefs to my children one day. My name is Sarah Whitmer. I was born on January 7, 1992 in Houston, Texas. My parents are Todd and Donna Whitmer. My dad is the CFO of a property management company and my mom is an accountant. I have two younger brothers, Chris and Brandon. These are my grandparents on my mom's side. My grandmother, Jean Gansky, grew up in Garwood, Texas, and my grandfather, Dan, grew up in Schulenburg, Texas. These are my grandparents on my dad's side. My grandmother, Patsy Whitmer, and grandfather, Max Whitmer, both grew up in Dallas, Texas. The countries which make up my background and heritage are Germany, England, Austria, and Czechoslovakia. My great-great-great-grandparents came to Texas from Posen, Germany in 1887. Their names were Daniel and Therese Gansky, and this was their family right after they moved to Texas. This photo was taken in 1890. This is a copy of Daniel Gansky's application for citizenship on June 3, 1887, with, when him and his family moved from Germany to Texas. Daniel was 44 years old and could not sign his name, so he signed with an X mark. This is a photo of all the people who had just come through the Great Depression and the victory in World War II. My great-grandfather, Rudy Gansky, had just come back from the war, and he is next to his wife, Rosie Gansky, my great-grandmother. They are circled in red on the right. This is Frank and Marie Pechik, my great-great-great-grandparents. Frank taught school in Czechoslovakia and then in Texas. Since he was one of the only educated men in the area, he had to take the job as tax assessor. Him and Marie had 13 children. Many members of my family were in the military. This is a World War I draft card signed by my great-grandfather, Max Whitmer, at the age of 21 in 1917. My other great-grandfather, James Todd, also fought in World War I at the age of 27. Lastly, my great-great-great-grandfather, David Whitmer, fought in the Civil War at age 37 in 1863. This is an obituary I found on my great-great-great-grandfather, William Hardin. It explains he died an unexpected death due to dysentery and intestinal disease. Many of my grandparents were farmers. They lived on land and their wives took care of the house and children. Yeah. Also, many of my family resided in the states of Tennessee. Also, many of my family resided in the states of Tennessee and Ohio. My name is April Walker and I was born on January 12th, 1993 in Fort Worth, Texas. These are my parents, Dennis and Mary Walker. My mom grew up in Kennedale, Texas, and my dad grew up in Dallas, Texas. 
My mom works in labor and delivery at Harris Methodist Fort Worth Hospital, and my dad works for his brother's construction company all over the DFW area. I have one older half-brother, Justin, who is turning 30 on April 16th. These are my grandparents on my dad's side, Thomas and Joanne. Thomas, like my father, grew up in Dallas, Texas. My grandparents on my mother's side are John and Mary. John grew up in Star City, Arkansas, and Mary grew up in Akron, Ohio. My dad's side of the family can be traced back to North Carolina and Tennessee. On my mom's side, I have ancestors that come from Scotland, Ireland, and Germany. My grandfather on my mom's side fought in World War II and the Korean War. He was a master sergeant in the Army. My great-great-grandfather on my dad's side, Robert Lee Osbrooks, fought in World War I. This is the Fraser family crest that can be traced back nine generations to my ancestors that immigrated from Iverness, Shire, Scotland. This is a four-generation picture that includes my great-great-great-grandfather, Aaron Thomas Sharon, my great-great-grandmother, Maud Sharon, my great-grandmother, Audrey Walker, and my grandfather, Tom. This is an obituary of my great-great-great-grandfather, Aaron Thomas Sharon. It says that he was Sumner County's oldest citizen at the time of his death. The Sharon Cemetery, located in Oak Grove, Tennessee, is dedicated to him and his family. We found many similarities while researching our family heritage. First, April and Sarah both have family that grew up in Ohio and Tennessee. Also, Sarah and Allison's family both came from the U.S. from England, and Sarah and April's family are from Germany. All three of our great-grandfathers fought in World War I in 1917 through 1918. Also, all three of our families had occupations as farmers. So. Now our paths have crossed at A&M, and we have learned how we are all interconnected by our families' histories. The, the end! end. <laughs>